Hey, what's up everyone? This is Miracle MS as your service presenting you all the last episode of my Captain's Boss Rise of New Champions, the tier list. Time for the forwards. So, let's start. First of all, we have Kojiro, the guy who has straight line triple, one of the best triples there is in terms of stats and in terms of uh, action. It's a dash triple, extremely powerful, and honestly. If you're going for a total route, you will always have to pick straight line dribble at the final challenge. So, yeah, no tiger shoot after he knows high dragon shoot, which is actually a DLC, DLC skill. Kuchiro's no tiger shoot is the strongest super shoot in the game. Not to mention the one two he has with Sawada. He is definitely the best ace in the game. Fierce Tiger Soul is an absolute monster. Okay, now for Maso. The Dutch Mana Brothers have this thing. They really need each other. Like, they're absolutely trash alone on their own. And between Maso and Kazo, Kazo, Maso is a little better because he has powerful header. Kazo has technical header. A powerful header boosts the force of your header. While technical header makes it like aim at the side better, honestly you can do that by just aiming it yourself. So Maso has a slight advantage over his brother, but overall they're not anything special. Sure Skylab Twin Show used to be a monster back in the day, but right now it's heavily nerfed and not really all that powerful. And Skylab Triangle is even weaker. so. There's really nothing special to them. And as I said, Kazo is like a slightly weaker version of Masao, so I'm gonna put him in B. Because of that difference in uh, technical header and powerful jumper. Okay. We have Nita. This guy got Bonanza in his Otomo Extra in his Otomo online events. Which, as I said in that analysis video, it's super strong. It's crazy. Somewhere between two to three times more powerful. That's how stronger the shoot will get. But at the same time, he doesn't really have a super shoot of his own. He's just like non-trap shoot. And the range of his falcon shoot isn't that high. So he needs to be close to the goal for that non-trap falcon to activate. So while not... Uh, like, I don't think he's double S here, but he's clearly better than Masao and Kazo. His Non Trap Falcon can deal a lot more damage, especially when Bonanza is activated. So, I think he's worthy of being in rank S. His Falcon Triple is fast, a dashing triple, and really hard to catch. And, yeah, I think he's good enough for an S rank. Sano. Hmm. He does have that Star Banana shoot where he and Chito do that combo shoot together, but Sun himself doesn't have any skills to buff his own shoot. And on top of that, his own dribble, the acrobat dribble, it is good to a certain sense, but it's not something you can use on a forward. You need a dash dribble, and acrobat dribble is just so slow, everyone can catch up to you. So. I mean, C is a bit too low. C is placed where you put people like Sawaki in. I mean, it's really not fair to put some of there. So I'm gonna go with B. Taki. Taki is useless for the most part, but his sideline master, it is really special. He can be a really good center but most forwards are about shooting and Taki has none of that so not exactly absolutely trash so not C but not that great either so I'm gonna put him in B next up is Sorimashi okay he has this 
skill when you have the highest offense in the team, striker's duty, and the weaker version of that. And um, yeah, that's great for a custom character, but for Sorimoshi himself, that's completely useless. And um, he does have a high enough offense to be better than players like Sawaki and stuff, but again, he's not really that special, so I'm going to put him in the B. So, let's pick this for him. Kizugi. Okay, Kizuki does have a few skills that buff his shoot, but his own shoot is bullet shoot. That's the worst shoot in the game. Speed shoot, which you get at the beginning of the game, is a better option than bullet shoot. So yeah, I'm not really fond of Kizuki. One thing's for sure, he's not muscle level. But... I'm just gonna put him in B as well. Let's just put the whole non Katsu and middle school players there. Kazuma Saoda. Okay, he does have the skill third times the charm and stuff, but that doesn't really buff him that much. It really doesn't make any differences. Heck, even against people like Morizaki or the. He needs five shoots, I think, to score. And if you check my goalkeeper and defender tier list, you know that I placed Morizaki, I think, in B rank. And if he needs five shoots to score on a goalkeeper on B rank, then yeah, he's definitely on the C level. Maybe among the players I'll put in the tier list, he is the strongest C rank character. Honmo. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put the three musketeers right next to each other where they belong at the bottom of the ocean. Never to be seen again. There we go. Yep, get out. Sawaki, the, the guy I, I constantly said from the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put him in the C rank, he is not worthy at all. He does have some, some shooting skills, but for the most part, he's garbage. <laughs> Shinai, okay, I'm getting to the junior. Shinai Tar is very special. He has Super Ace, he has Emperor's Approach, and another skill that is unique to him, I forgot the name, but it was after he gets three passes that he gets some insane buff. On top of that, he has a 1-2 with Hind, so it's a perfect 1-2 shoot because it activates his skills as well. His Kaiser Dribble is a dash dribble, amazing for attacking, not to mention German Spirit. Probably the best captain skill in the game. Yeah, if he's not a triple S, I don't know who is. High fire shoot, one of the best super shoots in the game. At the beginning of the game, it was so overpowered that they had to nerf it. I think high fire was nerfed twice. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. Okay, Marcus. Hmm. In the whole manga and stuff, Marcus is known for his header. Strangely enough, they didn't give it any attention in here. He does have some good dribbles. He has aerial dribble, a nice dash dribble. And I think it was Buster shoot that he had. An okay strong shoot. And he has some nice skills, like goal getter, I think. A few small skills to boost his shoot. So uh, if you compare it with Kizugi and stuff, Marcus is definitely way better, like an improved version of him. So I'm gonna put them in put him 
and A. Apollo, oh boy. Looking to get a good one here. He has Eiffel attack with Pierre, one, two, one of the things you really need on a forward. His Vendemier cannon is decent, not too strong, not too weak, just decent. And he has Buster Dribble, I'm not sure what the name was, Power, it wasn't Power Dribble, it was probably Buster Dribble. It's a dash triple that boosts his power, so that's really nice. Something people don't really notice is his dribble, it's a dash triple. Very helpful. And on top of that, he got lethal weapon, which is, which is pretty much a tiebreaker. And I think that's more than enough for him to be a double S. Like, he's clearly better than needs up, but he. He's not as terrifying as Kojiro and Schneider. Let's keep that one in mind. But he's definitely better than players like Nita. 1 2 and a nice super shoot, a nice dribble that buffs his power and is a dash dribble. Even Kojiro and Schneider's dribble, straight line dribble is an offense buff. Schneider's Kaiser dribble is an offense buff, but Napoleon's dribble is a power buff and a dash dribble, something you really can hardly find in a player. Clivort. I know I'm gonna get complaints on picking Clivort, the place I'm gonna put him. He doesn't have that many special skills. He has Destroyer, but first of all, that doesn't work at all on Hernandez, and second, it's really not that good because it only activates for like 10 seconds. How are you gonna get the ball and sh charge another super shoot in 10 seconds even with Viso, that's pretty much next to impossible so yeah his uh, high stinger is known as one of the worst super shoots in the game I'm not joking if any of you have picked um, his super shoot in the near hero mode and tested it in the next matches you'll see how weak it actually is and yeah, it's really strange how he's so weak, so he's definitely nowhere near Napoleon's level. His climb or turn is okay, but it's not a dash triple, so he can't really dodge a huge swarm of players. So I'm going to put him in s -ray. It's a bit slow and his shoots aren't that strong, so I'm just going to put him there. Gazer. One of the Netherlands players. He's basically very fast. He has, I think, Sonic Shoot. A nice, kind of an improved version of Speed Shoot. Uh, he has, I think he has Light Speed Dribble. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what he has. A nice hit fast and hit hard kind of player. So, A rank in my opinion. Kind of on Nita's level, just Nita has that non-trap falcon along with Bonanza that Kaiser doesn't have, so... Yeah, he's basically like a weaker version of Nita. Less and Blink. It's really strange that he has some skills that improve his shoot power, but he's using a technical shoot. Like, these things totally go against each other. I can't remember what the name of his dribble was, but... It was an interesting dribble. I think it was a dash dribble. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he has a dash dribble. I forgot the name. But yeah, it is a dash dribble. So I'm gonna put him next to Kaiser. So like Bless and Pink and Clay Kaiser are the improved versions of Taki and Kizuki in my opinion. Which is pretty much what is said in the game's extra event with the Shutetsu Trio and the Netherlands players. Bruciano, oh god, here we go. One of the game's originals. He has Risky Style that increases his Spirit Cost when tackling, which leaves him open for 
V-Zone farmers. But his curtain call is super strong. He is very strong with his curtain call. Like before lifting circus was a thing, you had to get his super shoot to ensure that you're gonna get a triple S on every stats on every match. Aside from the bypasses. But yeah, Rusciano's curtain call is super strong. Despite what the numbers in the game says. His risky style is pretty good. And he has some nice skills. His flying knee shoot, I think, uh, is actually one of the strongest aerials in the game. And what was the name of that? Crown lifting, that's what it was. Crown lifting, his special dribble is one of the best technical buffs in the game and on top of that he charges his shoot super fast like he as a player is not that fast but he is pretty good he can do a nice aerial and he can charge his super shoot super fast so yeah I think if you give him a chance he can surprise you definitely better than Clive Wartz. stronger super shoot stronger charge speed better aerial in every way, he's an improved version of Clivevort. Next we have Carlos. He does have Young Ace, but that would have only worked if he had this dash dribble. He doesn't. He has a very slow dribble and that's gonna cost him. He can't really charge his Young Ace that much. But he does have Rolling Overhead, one of the best overheads in the game. Pop Arguably the best actually and he has one two with Leo the person who can restore Baros uh, Spirit And he has double force shoot one of the two super shoot one of the two combo shoot twos in the game that Can actually pass any kind of block And um, I think he needs to be placed here. Okay, Pascal. Um, it's kind of hard to decide on this one. He has one two with Diaz, but that's just about it. Like. He is Diaz's partner. That's it. That's that's all he's good for. He does have some. I think he did have a good triple. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he did have that. So I'm kind of stuck here. On one hand, I don't think he's better than Kazol, but. I mean, his stats are definitely much better, but like if I had a, let's just put him in A, there's too many players in the B rank, at this point it's going to be way too crowded there, so I'm just going to put an A there, 5 A's, 5 B's, 5 C's, that's good, how many left, Ooh, I'm just consider the number left, Victorino, um, he got an extra event, got unstoppable, that kind of works with his sprinting panther. His panther shoot is the best normal skill shoot in the game, at least that's what the game says. I haven't really tested it to see which first stage shoot is better, because it really doesn't matter at this point. Um, he runs fast, hits hard. Pretty much same as Kaiser, just his Panther shoot is a level beyond the Kaiser um, Sonic shoot. So on top of that, he can charge V Zone if you if you just remove that Sprinting Panther. So yeah. an improved version of Kaiser. That's how I'm gonna see Victorino and put him in the S.
Okay, who's next? Diallo. Diallo has that reckless charge. And a bunch of other... Uh, speed skills. His vulture shoot sounds cool, but doesn't really do much damage. I'm kind of confused what to do with this guy. Why did they even make him a card? You usually take some interesting things from these cards, but Diallo was just this extra character that didn't really teach much. Was just there to make Seneca look a bit more crowded, I guess. He should have had something extra to just show how kind of a special person he is. A special player. Maybe a super shoot for a change, but nope. We got this. In the matches, it's kind of like Diallo is an improved version of Sorimachi. Pretty much the same thing, just a bit stronger. So I'm gonna put him in A. Wow, now A got more players. Okay. Blake. Oh boy. I had a discussion today about how Blake is. And they were saying that Blake is actually better than I think. I really don't think so. He has Power Fighter, boosts his power by 10%. He has Menacing Shoot. Okay, skill. Uh, he has Power Blitz that pretty much activates like never. And Overflowing Power only activates after you have more than 75% spirit, which is practically impossible for this guy. He is slow, very low charge speed, but he does have Justice Blade Shoot. The best combo shoot to in the game is Justice Blade Shoot, and this guy has that. For that reason alone, he can be better than these guys. Other than that, he doesn't really have much of a potential to dribble past players. It's really hard to make a chance for himself, but when he does, I guess it's okay. Super Blake Shoot is like an okay level of shoot, the same level as Curtain Call, but he can't make chances for himself like Ruciano does. He does have Justice Blake, but Ruciano has way more advantages than him, so I still see Blake in a lower level than these guys. I'm gonna put him in S. And mostly because of his Justice Blake shoot, like, his Blake on his own can't really do much. Because he's so slow and his Blake dribble is also kind of a still dribble. He's practically just waiting for others to come and get the ball from him while he's doing the dribble. He know. One of the DLC players. Fierce Dragon Shoot, the best super shoot in the game, post player, 35% speed boost. And Fierce Dragon Soul. Like the best thing you could want for your team is Fierce Dragon Soul. When you're in the lead, you can keep the lead with this guy. And trust me, that is very special. His dribble may not be that good, but that 35% speed boost he has, trust me, that you can just find yourself an opening and shoot from there. Plus, it can teleport so we can avoid super speed kickback cannon. For that reason, I think. Possibly the weakest of the triple S. But he's definitely a triple S, in my opinion. Even though he has jumping knee, which is kind of a still triple. But I think the force of his shoot more than makes up for it. That Fierce Dragon Soul is insane. And last, Pepe. This guy. This DLC player. He doesn't have a super shoot. Normally I should just put him here, but... I think to myself, no. He has Master Blaster. The closer he is to the goal, the stronger his shoot will be, and... It is actually pretty strong. It is pretty strong, but it's not a super shoot. 
it's kind of a tough decision. And actually it's the last card, so I pretty much have a full view on what I'm choosing. Okay, let's compare it with Marcus. He definitely has a better dribble than Marcus. He has a better skill than Marcus. Yeah, Pepe is definitely an improved version of Marcus. So, like that, I'm gonna put him here. Like, okay, improving Marcus is an S tier, so that's Pepe. Let's go with that. Wow, double S hardly has anyone there, which makes sense, I guess. Hino could also be in double S, I'm not 100% about it, but yeah. I think this pretty much sums up how I see the forwards. And that's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed it, have a good day, this was the last episode of my tier list, and... In the next video, I'll be explaining the long pass bypass. That's where I'm going to explain how that works. So you guys can make your custom characters easier now that the speed, now that the shoot bypass is gone. You can use the long pass bypass instead. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all next time.